I'm Abby Turpin, Director of Communications for Keep America Beautiful. Our September 2022 Affiliate of the Month is Keep Charlotte Beautiful in Florida. And joining us right now is Executive Director Rhonda Harvey. Rhonda, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you for having us, Abby. Congratulations as well. So kind of take us back in your life. When did your passion for taking care of the environment really begin? I started out as a uh, rock hound in uh, the panhandle of Texas. If anybody's been to the panhandle, you know that there is very little in the way of trees or grass or, or, or much growing. So rocks were, was my start. And then when we moved to the Dallas area, my, my parents always had organic gardening magazines around. They grew a, a small garden. They were very big into reuse and recycling, even back then. Um, we, my grandmother always took us to the dump. And yes, um, it was a dump back, back in those days. Right. And we collected glass. And she would bake it in the oven and we made crafts out of that. Oh, wow. um, and then also there was Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. Uh, both of those organizations are steeped in environmentalism and uh, taking care of your, your environment. Now we are highlighting you because you have received innovation awards from Keep America Beautiful in 2020 and 2021 that you've just been awarded. So tell us about those projects. We'll start with 2020. Okay, so in 2020, it was the Innovation Award for a program. We, we realized that um, in Charlotte County and in Florida, that we have a lack of environmental education in our schools. So we took the Waste in Place program and we started reaching out to some of our local schools and asked them if we could come in and work in their STEM labs. Their STEM labs are like a specials or an enrichment class. Oh. We also were able to get a, um, an intern from Florida Gulf Coast University. She was amazing. From January, end of January to the first week of March, we were able to present to 1,642 students. Oh. But then when COVID shut us down, we had to pivot. So our student started making videos. So she went home and she took the Waste in Place program and she made videos for seven of the lessons, I believe. And we placed those on YouTube. There, she did a really good job with that. As far as 2021 goes, that was um, for partnerships. I started with another, um, another faith-based organization. They were able to run the, the pantry seven days a week, but once the other food pantry stepped off, they had to pare it down to one day a week. They also found that they needed a garden and they needed a way to dispose of all the waste. So we helped them with the compost bin and then we started getting people like Boy Scouts and other volunteers to come in and assist with the, the gardens. So before COVID, they were serving just a handful of, of families. It was 45 families a week. Mm -hmm. And then when we got into COVID, now we're, we're actually at 348 families a week. Oh, wow. So we found that the food insecurity had risen tremendously mm -hmm. in our area, both because of COVID and the economics. Is there anything else that you want everyone to know that you're really just exceptionally proud of that you've done within Keep Charlotte Beautiful? We have some amazing volunteers, just our cleanup volunteers. Um, some of them clean up 12 months out of the year. They're absolutely rock stars. But um, our youth program is probably where our heart is. Mm -hmm. We spend a lot of time with high school students and FGCU students. They have the service learning program where we used to call it community service. We now call it service learning because we want the students to walk away with information about what they can do to make a difference in the community. So much going on, Rhonda. And of course, we congratulate you. Again, it's Keep Charlotte Beautiful, our September 2022 Affiliate of the Month. Rhonda, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, Abby.